So now we're at the end of the unit here for energy, uh, and we're going to look at a term called power. All right. So uh, one of my favorite uh, topics here um, is power, because uh, with power, we get to relate now the amount of work done and how fast we get it done. So uh, I'm going to give you a couple instances uh, or, or uh, examples of something or someone that has a lot of power. And in class, we'll talk about it a little bit too, but... Um, and what I'm going to mention is that power um, is uh, the amount of work that I can get done in a certain amount of time. So I am going to relate it to a story. Okay, when I was a little kid, okay, I um, okay, I was in here, okay, and I was. Uh, digging a hole. <laughs> um, don't ask me why, I'm not sure why, but I just wanted to dig a hole in my backyard. And I found out that the backyard was kind of rooty and we couldn't, I couldn't really get through the roots. So I said, well, let me try the front yard. So I went to the front yard and I ended up like kind of close to the road and I started digging a hole. And uh, all the dirt's piled up here. Okay, here's a pile of dirt. Uh, I was about maybe eight or ten years old, and I, I dug a hole. It was a big hole. It was big enough where I could get inside and actually hide in it. Um, and it took me like eight hours to dig this hole. Right. Um, I'll tell you the rest of the story later, but uh, basically ended up me getting in trouble. Uh, my, my dad came home and saw that there was a huge hole in the front yard. And uh, he got pretty upset. Uh, my plans were to actually uh, tunnel, uh, was to tunnel <laughs> and make it like go across the street so I could have my own little tunnel system. Um, and that, you know, that ended pretty quick that day when uh, dad came home. But, okay, so here, here's the thing. So power. Uh, if, if I were to dig this hole in eight hours, I would accomplish a certain amount of work. I would move the dirt. Remember, we said work is force times distance. Did I move this uh, dirt a distance? Yes, I did. Um, did I apply a force? Yes, I did. So I could calculate the force here uh, and then the distance and, and calculate the work done. Now, um, this hole was, uh, was dug by... A, by a backhoe, okay, and this backhoe can dig the hole in eight minutes. So the backhoe can pile up dirt and dig the same size hole in eight minutes. So the question that I want you to like ponder is like, who did more work? Was it the backhoe or was it me? The answer is the same. Although this hole does look a little bit bigger. Uh, we're going to pretend that this hole is a little bit smaller. And it's about the same size as this. So this tractor did the same work that I did. It took me eight hours. It took the tractor eight minutes. Same work, different time. So power P has to do with the amount of work that you can accomplish in, there's our division, the amount of time. Okay, so we got our work over time, and work uh, was measured in joules, times in seconds, and we have a new unit here, watts. Okay, named after James Watt, did some research in this area. Um, so this is our new unit for watts. So with this uh, new concept of power, okay, um, we may we're going to get into some examples, and one of the labs we're going to do 
And you may have done something similar in the ninth grade uh, with me or with another uh, one of the earth and physical science teachers. Uh, but you, you, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, determine like how powerful our own legs are um, in watts, and then we're going to convert that to uh, horsepower. So um, just a useful, uh, useful tidbit. Um, we measure uh, one horsepower is equivalent to the uh, uh, 746 uh, watts. Okay, there's just a useful conversion that we're probably going to have to use at some point. Uh, this is American. This is metric. American metric. Um, and we can also actually say that uh, we, we can measure power also in kilowatts. So, um, so when we're looking at power, okay, if I have, let's say, an elevator, okay, an elevator, I want to give the elevator a mass of 1,000 kilograms, and I'm going to pull the elevator up, um, let's say a displacement of... I don't know, let's say, let's say it's a pretty tall um, building, 100 meters, okay. Let's say that, um, let's say that it does it in a time of 45 seconds. Okay, so the elevator goes up. A distance and it takes this much time okay let's find the uh, the work the, the power of the the end the motor that winds up this cable okay so the power of this uh, motor that winds up the cable for the elevator um, we know power is work over time okay well we know work is force times distance. Okay. We also know that the force that we need to overcome is the force of gravity or the weight. So we, we're going to take the force and say that the, the force is equivalent to the, to the weight because we're trying to pull against the weight of the elevator. So the force of gravity, okay, Fg, is m mass times gravity times the distance over the time it takes. Can you see that? I, I started with work. I define work as force times distance. I define force. The force needed to pull this thing up is to beat the force of gravity. So mass times gravity times distance. So I can figure out with one simple formula how to get the power rating of that motor. Let's find it. Okay, let's see. Um, so power, mass is 1,000 kilograms, gravity uh, 9.8, uh, the distance is 100, and the time is 45 seconds. Okay, so let's find out what that is. So you get 1,000. So after doing a little bit of calculations, okay, in this, I found out the power is equivalent to 21,778 watts. Okay, well, that's a pretty powerful uh, motor, I have to say. Um, let's find out what that is in horsepower. Just out of curiosity, I want to figure out what the horsepower of that, just to see if it's realistic. So, okay, so if I find out the horsepower, uh, it's this number over 746. Okay, and I end up with 
29. Sounds very realistic, actually. So um, the problem, uh, the motor is a 29 horsepower motor, um, which is not, you know, not too crazy. If you think about horsepower, um, you think your lawnmower has about maybe five or 10. Uh, a motorcycle has about anywhere from 50 to 100. A uh, car has anywhere from like 150 to 300. Um, a, a boat has anywhere from like, you know, depending on the size of the boat, um, has between, let's say, 50 and 250 horsepower. So, yeah, to say that the elevator has a 29 horsepower engine or motor pulling it up is, is it's very, it's realistic. Okay. So this is a cool little, uh, cool little way to calculate the horsepower of something um, that does an amount of work. All right, so we're going to be doing a lab. Uh, it's, we'll call it the horsepower lab. Okay, and this is a little introduction to that. Okay, and uh, what we're going to be doing is climbing a set of stairs. Okay, and in order for us to climb stairs, we have to move our bodies up a height. So, the mass of a person, okay, it's about me, uh, about 100 kilograms, um, to get me up here takes a certain amount of work. Okay, we'll say the height of this staircase is six meters. Okay, let's, um, so we have the height of six meters, we got my mass. And let's say I can run up this thing in um, four seconds. Okay, so let's figure out what my power rating is. Okay, remember, power is work over time. Power is force times distance over time. Power is, now the only force that we're gonna go against, remember, is the force of gravity. So power is mass times gravity times distance over time. So all I did was I just defined work as force times distance. I define force as mass times gravity, because that's the force of gravity that's pulling up that I gotta beat when I go up the stairs. Okay, um, so we can figure out the power rating it would take to get this kid up the stairs, okay, in four seconds. Now that's the power rating of his legs. You get the leg muscles there, okay, pushing you up the stairs, okay? So let's figure it out. Uh, we'll do it over here. Power is uh, mass, gravity, distance, or height, time, four seconds. Okay, we go ahead and figure that out. Yeah, so that's a high water. So power is uh, 14. 70 watts. Now, you're going to notice that watts, um, we, we're used to that term because we might see it on the back of a light bulb or something like that. And yes, it's actually the same, uh, the same units that is, that, that, uh, that is in the back of a light bulb, that's in the back of a microwave, um, vacuum cleaner. Um, we all have, they all have power ratings. So this person's power rating is 1,470 watts. Divide by 746 to get the horsepower, and you can find out that that this gentleman here has approximately 1.97 horsepower. Okay, so the horsepower rating can be solved pretty easily just by getting the time it takes for you to run up the stairs. So as you guessed it, we're going to be doing a horsepower lab. Measure your, uh, the power of your legs. Okay, so there it is. Okay, finding the horsepower of a person's leg muscles to get up a set of stairs given a height 
given a time and knowing the person's mass.